Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also giving it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk and faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
today we read from Christ in Our Home, October, November, December, 2020 edition. It's Monday, October 26, and we read from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 through 9 and verses 20 through 25. Now this is the commandment, the statutes and the ordinances that the Lord your God charged me to teach you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy so that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep all his decrees and his commandments that I am commanding you, so that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe them diligently, so that it may go well with you, and so that you may multiply greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Keep these words that I'm commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand, fix them as an emblem on your forehead, and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Happy Monday, October 26th. When I served as pastor of a congregation, one of my favorite Sundays was the day we gave third graders their Bibles. Most of them were excited, and I would encourage them and their parents to read the book together. As an added of incentive, I promised that I would buy the family a pizza dinner if they read the whole Bible together. Sadly, I never bought one dinner. I think one of the reasons Deuteronomy is so adamant about the importance of passing the Word of God on to our children, and I would add to newcomers to the faith, is because doing this is a challenge. The Bible can be a daunting book to someone, young or old, who has never explored it. It's hard to know where to start. I'd suggest one of the Gospels because they tell of Jesus, the center of our faith. But wherever you begin, the most important thing is to share your own love of Scripture with whoever you are introducing to this powerful book about God and God's steadfast love. Loving God, open the hearts of all your children to your word. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.